What's up, ladies and gents? This is Bulk here. Oh my god, it's Guild Wars 2 beta! Oh, this is the beta weekend event, so I thought I'd bring you the item shop. Uh, first up, items, I'm gonna show what they have. They have portable bank, which is, you know, self explanatory. You have die packs, which in this game you can dye your gear at any point in time. I'll go into that a little bit later with uh, some other footage I have. You can buy experience boosts. Uh, it's 50%, lasts for a little bit. Uh, you can get kill streak boost, which every 30 seconds if you kill a mob, it's 100% experience. And last one would be Mystic Key. There are multiple tabs I'm going to cover, by the way. Uh, Mystic Keys unlock random chests that you find. They're kind of tedious, so you usually throw away most of them. What we're going to look here, you have the currency exchange. You can see the current going price is probably not going to be what it's going to be whenever the game is actually up. So... That's currently what people are selling their free gems for. And anyway, yeah. Most, or actually all these items don't have an impact on the game in the slightest, if you ask me. Uh, there are town clothes here. Uh, they don't have a preview option available, unfortunately. So I can't show you. Town clothes don't affect anything other than your look in town. Uh, transmuta uh, transmutation stone. I cannot talk. It uh changes your look of your weapon or piece of gear to another piece. And there's a higher level transmutation stone as well that allows you to do a max level item, basically change the graphic into whatever you want. So you can look total noob in awesome gear. And it won't matter. Alright, so for consumables you also see magic plant food. It helps to grow dye seeds into random colors. I'm assuming it's time-based that you plant and grow the seeds, so I didn't get around to checking that out, unfortunately. Uh, as you see here, we have instant repair kits. Those don't really matter, being you can put around the map, you can port to repair vendors, so it's all good. Salvage kit, which kinda is amazing for crafting, but it won't matter much. And resurrection orbs, which in all honesty, really don't matter on the basis that if you die, there's always somebody. And you have bag and bank slots. These are the only things that I would personally be interested in because it is a permanent upgrade and allows you extra slots. The only reason you would actually need extra slots, though, however, would be if you do a lot of crafting because that requires a lot of materials. All right, here you see boosts. We have crafting experience, karma, uh, magic find. Magic find is probably the only one that I would use as well to find random stuff. <laughs> only useful one. And mini pack for the novelty player that wants to have little mini companions that look like they're random people from the game. Also the uh, lore junkies, we'll call them. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to look here. Alright, so we have the trading post here. Uh, this is the auction house. And if you search for anything and you want to buy something, it always gives you options to buy the cheapest thing, which is amazing. You don't have to sift through all the individual postings like in WoW. Uh, if you look at your sell your stuff, it shows everything in your bag and it actually shows what it's currently listing for. So you can actually go up here, check your quantity, check the price, hit sell, tell them how many. And you could say, ah, I want to match the cheapest price person, whoever's, you know, posting crap up. Or you can match the highest buying person. Of course, you're going to want to match the highest buying person, in my opinion. Uh, it's probably going to take a little more time than lowest selling, but there you go. Sold 13 out of 20 instantly. And actually, a few minutes after this video, I sell the rest. Anyways, that's it for this video. Until next time, which will be very, very soon, I have tons more Guild Wars 2, so stay tuned. This is Bulg out.